Yo, what's going on? This is Mans, Mans Dem, and we have some exciting breaking news going on. Exciting is very subjective in this sense. Um, I gotta say, uh, I thought this day would come. I didn't think it would come this soon, but uh, Joe Biden is pushing for racial equity in America with four new executive actions moving forward. Um, I'm gonna look into all of them and we're gonna break that down real quick. I don't wanna take too much of your time. Um, I'm sure uh, this is nothing but pandering and pure evil on their side, but we'll get into it. Let's get to it. All right. So as of today's recording, that being January 26, Joe Biden has signed off on four new executive actions. I'm sure all are pure evil and we're going to break them down step by step. First one being direct the Department of Housing and Urban Development to take steps necessary to redress racially discriminatory federal housing policies, which I think is just horrible, honestly. Um, top to bottom, I think that's just a bad move. I think really we should really defend the rights of racist, racist people uh, to keep their towns clean. I think if they want to discriminate against black people and keep black people out of their towns, I think they're full and well in their rights to do so. Um, as great Christians themselves, uh, even God said uh, to keep black people out of their towns. Uh, I'm sure that's what the Bible said. Uh, and we should, we should really keep up that value um, as far as discrimination housing wise. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that on that. Uh, next up would be direct the Department of Justice to end the use of private prisons. I really don't see what Joe Biden has against um, modern slavery and slave labor. I really don't understand that. Why would he try to end that? Why would he try to end that? I don't I don't get that. Why would he try to uh, stop uh, that? We, we need those so badly. We need to keep going with the private prisons. I mean, sure, they might be corrupt, but I mean corrupt was probably my favorite member of the dog pound so i really don't understand shout out to snoop dog um next up would be reaffirm the federal government's commitment to tribal sovereignty and consultation we're gonna consult pocahontas why do we need to talk to the why i did i thought and correct me if i'm wrong but um i thought america has been in the business of screwing over Native Americans. Why 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 start to mend things now? I don't understand. Joe Biden, you're you're just pure evil somehow. Um I can't really prove it yet. Uh it might take another couple of videos, but um damn, we need to we need to really stop him. We need to really stop him. Um <sighs> America's just going to get undone, um really. Uh the last one here honestly is uh combat xenophobia against Asian American Pacific Islanders. What happened that was so bad to Asian and Pacific Islanders? Maybe Trump could have not called it the China virus 37 billion times. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that would have helped the life and well-being of Asian Americans to not be pawned off because of this virus. And they weren't, you know, just used the stew just to pawn off blame because, you know, the government at the time couldn't handle the COVID response, but you know, so like Joe Biden really is just out here just trying to pander to you guys, really. All he did was watch Enter the Dragon 37 times, and now he think he could just save all the Asian Americans, really. Um, I think this is more pandering, and I think this is all bad. I think this racial equity stuff needs to be stopped. I think he needs to be stopped. I think he's a Marxist, liberal, Nazi, um, socialist, um, uh, filling, uh, just filling the blank with another bad word, honestly. And um, I think he just needs to chill out. He needs to chill out. He's trying to save the world, and that's not what America is about. Um, I don't know who he has, uh, who he's trying to appeal to. Um, the blacks, the Asians, Jesus. He needs to be stopped. Real shit. And um, I don't like it. Um, especially the private prisons. I mean, somebody has to appeal to Satan somewhere. And uh, I think keeping private prisons open would really, really make Satan happy. All in all, folks, this is a really horrible time and we're living in really bad times i just i just really wish that trump was still here to guide us to the light to the truth to happiness to everything that was great and that we hold dear in life because this is just ridiculous uh, i just feel like this is just more pandering and if there was one thing about trump he definitely definitely wouldn't pander uh, to black people at all in any type of way especially not to get votes so at the end of the day, all we can do is hope for the best. Stay strong, my fellow conservatives. We're going to get through this nonsense. And at the end of the day, 
Remember to comment the like button, subscribe to the share button. And to all my brave, brave, strong, very strong, not sensitive at all conservatives, suck my dick.